wrapping around Tulsa, you will notice more and more road construction and lane closures, and that can make the morning commute a little frustrating. Viewers sent in their complaints to 2 News anchor Stephen Romo, taking your questions directly to the city. He's in our studio now with what he uncovered. Stephen? Yeah, Russ, we asked what problems you're seeing here are some of the responses we got. Curtis and Carolyn Kanita asking why the, our lanes close sometimes with no workers around. And Ana Osario asking why parallel streets are closed at the same time. We sat down with the people in charge to get answers. Yeah, Midtown, they not only live there, they shop there. Avoiding gridlock and frustration, yeah. the goal of most any commuter. City of Tulsa staff says it's their goal too when making road construction plans. As you can see from this map, the voter approved and prove our Tulsa plan includes nearly $625 million in projects. We took your questions to Engineering Services Director Paul Zachary. One major complaint we heard, too much construction, too close together. Their alternative routes are cut off with construction. Right. Too. So do you hear that complaint? Yeah, we had, we had a, a case right now where on Harvard 51st to 61st we did. But we had a, re a, a real qu a quicker job at 61st and Yale. Now this pops up pretty often, a capital project to overhaul a road already in motion. Then an unexpected problem happens nearby, like potholes or a water line break. The city says that can put projects side by side, sometimes unavoidable. What should people know when they see cones and no workers? Well, there's a couple of things that can be going on. First and foremost, it's just that, a contractor isn't around or he is, has an issue. Zachary says if a contractor blocks off a lane and there's no work, there is a daily penalty they have to pay. Other times, he says, the traffic cones may be somewhere they don't need to be. Zachary adds when that happens, the city welcomes feedback about how to make things work better. And there are some unintended things that happen. We'll move things, we will do whatever we can because we realize we're working in people's front yards. Now, most everyone agrees many of these streets need fixing. Now, with this new funding, some work is finally getting done. The city admits there are things they are learning as they go along. They encourage people to call this number for the city to report any problems they see. Stephen Romo, 2 News Works for you.